Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Wednesday, January 18th, 2017. And this is another video in my series, Turning Up the Heat on WSO Steve Olson. Now you'll remember in my previous video that I did email him late last year and offered him an olive branch and that I would try to work with him if he would accept so that we could look at the images in his videos and try to work out what we're seeing. However, Steve Olson has rejected that offer of an olive branch. So as I said, well, I've got no other option then to just continue debunking his videos. So today we're looking at this video, part two, the ultimate evidence of wormwood nemesis in our solar system. Now, I love a video with ultimate evidence in the title. That is like a red flag to a bull to me. So, first of all, we should look at when this video was uploaded. Again, this is one of the videos where I went back and checked on Steve Olson's earliest video uploads. This one goes back to December 26, 2015. So, it is just over a year old. And in this video, we're looking at the All Sky webcam from the Australian Antarctic Division Davis Station. So let's play a bit of the video. I'll skip through the middle because part of that he's just trying to find the right part of the video. And um, we'll have a listen to what he has to say. Good morning, everybody. Um, I was just checking the Davis Station uh, Australian webcam. I check it often, as you probably know, since I looked at Nemesis from here. So this is my second part video, and I'm showing it to you from the December 26th perspective. Now, if you go back and look at the, the other shots I took earlier in the week uh, over the last 10 days, you'll see the clear shot of it. Now that I know what to look for, I keep going back to make sure I'm not crazy and they are trying to chemtrail the bejeebers out of this but check it out i'll show it I'll, I'll show you where it is right now so i have to kind of click through this look right about where the arrow is right now and you'll start to see it appear so i'll just step this forward oh there it is bing comes right out guys this is the most damaging footage that we have on this object right now and that is why they have been coming after me um, which is fine. I don't care. I'm ready for it. Um, but anyway, there it is. And again, it's just down there, just floating around down in the South Pole. Now, to see clearly what he's actually talking about, we need to go back to this earlier video called The Picture of Wormwood Gets Clearer, December 19, 2015. So let's have a listen to what Steve has to say in this video. This is the most convincing and the most direct photograph I have seen of what I think to be the brown dwarf and as I was being educated today by another colleague online I was convinced that what I'm seeing here since we're seeing it directly from the south of the planet what I'm seeing is the Sun blasting its energy backwards and illuminating the cloud which is clearly red here in this picture with this object in the middle I think this object does have, is capable of giving off its own light just in this case it's so the reason I wanted to show this uh, a little in a little bit more detail today is because I think this is indeed the best photograph that I've seen of the actual Nemesis system, center of the Nemesis system. And you can see this red cloud, and then again the, the sun is illuminating the cloud part of it, and maybe it's illuminating part of it itself. So we've just heard Steve Olson describing these images as the, the best and clearest images of the Nemesis system. You can see from the title of the video it says, The Picture of Wormwood Gets Clearer, December 19, 2015. And he's pointing to this pink circle in the middle. Now the interesting thing about this, of course, as we watch the video and the sun is moving around the sky, which is of course due to the Earth's rotation, the pink object remains static. So that's the first problem because obviously with the Earth rotating once every 24 hours or 15 degrees per hour, if this object was in space, it would also move around the sky just as we see the Sun moving around the sky. Of course we know that the Sun is not orbiting the Earth. The rotation of the Sun around the sky is due to the Earth's rotation. So we would expect to see exactly the same thing for any other object in space, just as we see the stars and the planets crossing the sky each night. But wait, there's more. 
Here we are over on the antarctica.gov.au website and if we scroll down we can see the very same webcam and as you can see the date here in the top right hand corner is 16th of January 2017. Now I've queued the video forward so we've got a clear day and let me play this and what do we see as the sun comes round? Wait for it. There is our pink object. Here we are one year and one month later and our pink object is still in exactly the same place. So one year and one month on, here we are on the 16th of January 2017, and the Nemesis system, as Steve Olson would have us believe, is still in exactly the same place as before. I suspect that what we're seeing here is a reflection of the end of the camera from inside the All Sky camera back up onto the dome. We've seen this sort of thing before, but I have to say that normally the reflection of the camera is more centred. So this may be the reflection of some other object which is within the, the camera assembly. It certainly is not an object in space. If it is, it's defying all the known laws of physics because, like the sun, it should be rotating around the sky or crossing the sky, but it's remaining in the same position as we play the video. It remains absolutely static, even though the Earth is rotating at 15 degrees per hour. And I think uh, Nibiru just landed inside the camera there. Check that one out. Guys, this is the most damaging footage that we have on this object right now, and that is why they have been coming after me. So there we have it, folks. Steve Olson's most damaging evidence, the ultimate evidence of Wormwood Nemesis in our solar system, debunked. Don't you just love it when they use that word ultimate? Now, Steve Olson might be tempted to delete some of these older videos from his channel because I think they're going to be rather embarrassing. But too late, Steve, because I've already downloaded these videos and I've taken screenshots of each one of the upload pages showing the description and upload date. So we've got plenty of material to draw from from the end of 2015 to the current date. Compare then to now and see what's changed and what remains exactly the same. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.